And my first guest is an actor who you might recognize as the chef who has pipe sex with Lena Dunham in tiny furniture. Unprotected pipe sex. Or maybe you know him as Ben Donovan in season four of Gossip Girl, Serena's crush. Maybe Nick Lane on the show Fringe. Or maybe, if you're like my dad, as Adam on Smash. <laughs> Dad's a big Smash fan. He now stars in a new indie movie called Dead Man's Burden, which was named one of the top indies to watch on demand for the month of June. Please welcome Mr. David Call. Oh, I'm super. You know, I'm so glad we can have you here. We originally had you scheduled on the show for April 11th when your movie Dead Man's Burden was being released in theaters. That's very true, yes. But something came up. Something did come up. But you're here now when the movie's out on video on demand. I think like yesterday yes. or today. It, Yester uh, yesterday. 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 Yes, this yesterday. This thing is out. It's on, it's on iTunes. Amazon. Hulu. Hulu. Google Play. Yeah. On demand. Voodoo. DVD at Walmart. If anyone wants to like, <laughs> drive out to Queens and go to Walmart. Does anyone do Voodoo. Voodoo? What is that? That's a website. I saw that on yeah. the press release. Anyway. It's like a cheap Hulu ripoff. Dave, this is a great movie. I, uh, I saw it. Thanks. Beautifully shot. Yes. This is or like this. a Western. It's an indie Western, which is pretty rare. Yes, yes, yes. And we shot on 35 millimeter film, which is very God. rare. Explain a little bit about what this movie's about. We have a, we have a trailer we can show. But... Oh, gosh. Um, actually, it might be easier to explain after the after trailer. We, after we yeah, show it? Should we show this thing? Guys, this right. is Dead Man's Burden, Out on Demand. I watched it. I loved it. Let's take a look at the trailer. All right. Uh, so basically, uh, the guy who we freeze framed on, who was not me, uh, is the brother of the blonde chick, uh, Claire, who you might recognize from Nashville, if anybody watches Nashville. Uh, I play Claire's husband. Uh, we thought he was dead from the Civil War. Uh, turns out he wasn't. He shows up again. And uh, he shows up after Claire and I have killed Claire's father so we can sell his land and move away. So the brother shows up, he suspects that something is amiss, yeah. and uh, basically it sort of becomes about him trying to find out what happened, and me trying to figure out a way I can kill him, and Claire trying to get out with nobody being killed, and then, uh, and then a lot more a, people get killed. Yeah, a lot of killing. Lots of killings. A little Deadwood-esque a little bit. Yeah. yeah. If you yeah, like I'll that show. That. Yeah. Uh, I learned a valuable lesson from watching this movie, which is if ever given the opportunity to time travel, don't go to New Mexico circa 1870. No, life fucking sucks. <laughs> yeah, that was some <laughs> rough was, living. It was painful and short and dirty and hot. And, yeah, uh, and you, yeah. Kinda, you really kind of lived that for a couple of weeks there, right? Yeah, man. We, uh, we shot, so the, uh, the, basically we shot mostly in one location, and that uh, was an old homestead in the mountains in New Mexico, uh, right by where George O'Keefe used to live. Wow. And we basically just lived up there for a month. I uh, got to ride horses every day and uh, shoot guns and uh, basically act out like my eight-year-old fantasies. Yeah, uh, in real life. Is, is, is it weird hitting craft services when you're dressed up like that in the 1870s and everyone's all dirty and then, oh, you're nibbling on a Nature's Valley granola bar? Yeah, yeah, it, uh, oh, it yeah. does seem a little odd. Oh, can know. I get a vitamin water? Yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> we actually had Capri Sun on set, which was a real... Uh, really? Yeah, which actually did bring it back to the eight-year-old fantasies. Yeah, on the back totally. Of, so. so you've out. always wanted to do a Western. Oh, God, yes, man. Yeah, who doesn't? Please, God. who doesn't? I don't know. I mean, I grew up in the West, and uh, then, then I grew up. My dad, my, the only movies my dad let me watch were, like, Westerns and Star Wars. Yeah. Scott, you know, I spent a couple of weeks in the Jemez Mountain Range in New Mexico. Oh, yeah? A long time. Yeah, yeah. And, and did you Look, like Looking it? for geothermal energy. Yeah, well, but, right. but, Even but shoot anybody. Did you? No, the Indians, is, they, didn't, they wouldn't tell us where we could dig. They're very secret. They're, they're mm. a very secret religion. Yeah. yeah. But I know the weather out there. Yeah. yeah. We should have had you on the movie. Damn. I think we all know why we switched. 